Hi guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Sonia and you're watching Domestic Diva. Today I will be sharing a simple recipe on how to make baklava. Uh, I am using the store-bought filo pastry and I will have um, the recipe linked down below. And I also need some chopped pecans or walnuts, uh, water, some vanilla, and some honey i am using the linden honey you can use any honey you have sugar and butter so the first thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to finally chop the nuts and i am using my uh, pamper chef food chopper to chop it all up <laughs> I also want to mention that today's video is part of a collab hosted by Desiree from Mama Friendly and Ellie from DIY from House to Home. I will have both of their channels linked in the description box as well as the playlist for this collab for you to check out even more Easter uh, potluck uh, treats and um, recipes. Once the nuts are all chopped up, I add some cinnamon to it and mix it up well. Now it's time to assemble the baklava. Uh, so I'm using a non-stick cooking spray to spray my sheet pan, my pan. So once you unroll the she sheets, the filo pastry dough sheets, you put a damp cloth on top of them to keep them moist. And while this is getting moist, I'm going to melt my butter in the microwave. And the way I assemble it is I will be uh, brushing up the butter on the bottom and then I'm going to line the dough up with the length of the pan and um, some of them I will cut off any excess and some of them I will just fold fold down and I will add two sheets of filo dough to the buttered pan and then use the pastry brush to brush the melted butter over the entire surface area of the dough and then I will repeat that until I have eight layer sheets total then I'm going to sprinkle uh, the top of the ba ba buttered eighth sheet with two to three tablespoons of the nut mixture. And then I'm going to lay another two sheets on top and brush with butter and then add nuts again. And then repeat the dough butter nut layer until you have eight sheets left and adding those two at a time and only brushing with butter. Once the baklava is assembled, I am going to take a really sharp knife that I have sprayed with a non-stick cooking spray and cut, um, cut it um, in the length, down the length, and then cut diagonally all the way down and across the pan for a traditional baklava um, cut. You can also cut these into squares as well if that's what you want to do. It doesn't have to be in the little shapes. 
I had preheated my oven to 350 and I will be putting it and cooking it for about 50 minutes. And then within the last 30 minutes I will begin to make my syrup which is water and sugar to I will be adding to a small pot and bringing it to a boil over medium high heat until sugar completely dissolves. And then I'm going to add vanilla and honey and simmer for 20 minutes stirring occasionally. When baklava is done, remove it immediately out of the oven and immediately pour the uh, sauce, the sugar mixture over top of it. And voila, that's it. Well, I hope you had enjoyed this recipe. Let me know down below if you've ever made a baklava yourself. Don't forget to check out the hostess channel as well as the playlist, which will all be linked down below. And until next time, I uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.